Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 15. A couple of times when I've been watching both Eric Debay and Jeronism, they've both said in passing that the moon goes in the opposite direction uh, or the observable direction of the moon is opposite to the modelled heliocentric direction of the moon. So I did a little bit of research in this and ran it by my wife who's currently filming this video log and both her and I couldn't wrap our head around it and it wasn't necessarily because it wasn't obvious or it couldn't be pointed out, it was more that the paradigm was just so glaring and so obvious that we thought this can't possibly be real. So I've decided to make a video log just about this one particular subject. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of videos now. Um, one is by a chap named Derek Owens and if you type in the Earth, Moon, Sun system his video comes up with quite a substantial amount of viewings. So I'll play that to you now so you can hear um, Derek Owens view on uh, the Earth, Moon and Sun system. This is a famous photograph, it's called Earthrise, and this was taken from the moon. And there were a lot of photographs like this taken from the Apollo missions that went to the moon. And this particular photograph was taken from Apollo 11, which was the first mission to actually land on the moon, where people got out of the spacecraft and walked around on the moon. And photographs like this really stunned the population to see pictures for the first time of the Earth just out there hanging in empty space amidst the blackness and, and taken from the surface of this very bleak world, the surface of the moon where there's no air, no life, no plants or animals or anything. And, and to see Earth alone out there amidst the blackness. And pictures like this were actually a big spur to the environmental movement at the time because you see Earth as, as really quite small amidst the emptiness of space and you realize that the world in which in which we live the place we inhabit is really this little tiny place all alone in the middle of space and it prompted people to take thought take more thought of taking good care of the earth this video is about the earth moon and sun system or is it about how small we are on a globe and how insignificant we are and how we need to pay attention to the environment now i'm not suggesting that um derek owens is deliberately perpetuating this lie because he's in on it. He's just like everybody and this is his understanding. The Earth's so small, we're a tiny insignificant speck of dust, we must treat the Earth with so much care. And I'm not saying that we should all be polluting, but my point is that we've got a current global agenda that wants us to look at the environment in a massive way with global warming. Again, I'm not trying to dispel any myths with global warming, but the point is that that's also very heavily indoctrinated. Back to the moon. If we can zoom in on this for now, this is my understanding from what I see in this picture. The Earth is travelling in this direction. Therefore, we will see the Sun, as we do, arriving from our, if we were looking out, from our left-hand side. So the Sun will come up from this side of the Earth, so we will see it coming up from this direction as we spin in this direction. Now, the directions of the Moon's travel is, as you can probably see, anti-clockwise. As a consequence, while we're seeing the Sun come from the left, in the heliocentric model we have the Moon coming from the right. Now I've got several time-lapse um, footages of the Moon, Mars, Venus and I think Jupiter for, for a fraction of a second in the time-lapse at least, um, going all in the same direction, all at pretty much the same speed in the time-lapse. In other words, the moon is travelling in exactly the same direction as the sun and as the stars um, when we filmed them with time-lapse cameras, whereas the heliocentric model has the sun going from left to right and the moon going from right to left. Now I've put this up, as you can probably see by the, the way I'm twisting up my face, almost for some shill to come along, uh, slice Barclane or Requiem for a Dream or whatever you're called, and say, no, no, you've got this completely wrong. Y your model that you've picked with however many thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of viewings that he has, has just depicted it wrong in his, um, in his uh, very nicely drawn illustration. Now, if that's the case, great, you know, do the hard work for me, Shills, because I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time, but it just makes no sense that there'd be such a massive paradox between what we actually see and the way our scientists tell us the heliocentric or globe Earth system works. So I will see you in the next video.